Sometimes we need to deal with audio by pulling levels up or down. In this next fast tip, I'm going to show you some quick ways that you can deal with audio levels inside both Vegas Pro and Vegas Movie Studio software. Let's dive in. And what I've got here is a video stream that we've uh, looked at in, in previous fast tips, and I've dropped in some music that we can work with. <laughs> First of all, I've got four pieces of media here, four events that have got audio that I really don't care very much about. So I need to lower the audio of each one of these clips. Now the first and easiest way is just to simply go through and put my cursor near the top of the audio channel here and drag down. And now the audio is gone for that particular clip. In fact, we'll mute our music so you can hear that. See, it's gone. There's our next one. But did you know that you can select multiple clips at once? So we're going to click on the first event here. Hold down our shift key to, and select the last event. We'll just drag all of them simultaneously, just like that. There we go. And... Now we're going to look at our mixer over here so that we can see what's happening with our audio levels. That music's pretty loud. So let's look at how we can knock it down just a little bit. We're going to do it the same way. By putting our cursor up near the top of that audio. Click. And we're just going to drag that down just a little bit. So we can control all the audio level. Now we're almost to our dialogue where we're going to make our next change. Now here I'm going to show you how you can do a quick duck. In other words, we're going to drop the audio down underneath just the dialogue. So this is a super fast way to do it. We'll look at some other ways right after that. Let's do a quick duck working in Vegas. Now this only works in Vegas Pro. This won't work in Vegas Movie Studio. So if you're using Movie Studio or Platinum, you won't have access to this next feature. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is double click our selection where the dialogue is occurring. Now let's click on our track header for our music and press the V key, V for volume. You can see this blue line appears. Just simply click and drag down. And wherever the selection is, that's going to define the in and out audio points. So let's listen to what we've got here. Now we climbed about another thousand feet. We're way up in altitude, as you can see behind me here. It's about zero, so the temperature is quite cold. Great, so we can see how that dropped the audio down. Now these, uh, these nodes right here, these envelope points, are adjustable, so maybe we want to fade the music down a little more slowly. I'm just going to grab that and drag it over to here. Do the same thing here on the tail end. So we're fading it out just a little bit more slowly. Let's see what happens now. Well, we climbed about another thousand feet. We're way up in altitude, as you can see behind me here. It's about zero, so the temperature is quite cold. With the windshield back... Okay, you see how that turned that down and uh, made it a little bit easier to work with. Now we can also go through, and let's just... I'm going to delete these nodes. Okay, now that we've removed those nodes, let's look at another way that we can do some uh, audio manipulation here inside the Vegas tool. Now again, for those of you that are Vegas Movie Studio users, you don't have access to this next feature. This is only available in Vegas Pro. But you can do something similar in Vegas Movie Studio just simply by clicking on a volume level. We'll look at that in just a moment. Okay, for those of you that are Vegas Pro users, we're going to come back in here and we can see that we've got this uh, the, the dialogue starting right here. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually draw a volume control in there. So I'm going to place my cursor near that blue line and hold down on my shift key. And you'll notice that turns my volume or my cursor into a volume draw adjustment. So let's just draw this down just like that. There we go. We get a, a curve. Now we'll draw the next one up just like that. And it's automatically taken those in and, and drawn them. <laughs> Well, we climbed about another thousand feet. We're way up in altitude, as you can see behind me. Now here. we can also do this it's on the fly. Zero, so the temperature is quite cold. With the windshield factor, it's sitting somewhere around the minus 15 degrees. So it's definitely chilly up here. And for the benefits of flash-based media, 
So you can see it's really quite simple to draw those volume envelopes just by holding the shift key down and click dragging over top of that volume envelope. What if you're using Vegas Movie Studio? How are you going to do this? We'll show you right now. So let's just undo some of those inserts that we put in. We're right back to our, our plain old volume level. All we need to do is place our cursor here, double click, come a little farther downstream and double click again. And now we can manually insert those. And Vegas Movie Studio works really well this way. One final thing to share with you, we can adjust the curve or the way that these behave. So we're going to right click on a node, we're going to tell it that we want it to be a slow fade, and it changes the behavior. And here we want it to be a fast fade. So again, it changes the behavior. Well, we climbed about another thousand feet, we're way up in altitude as you can see. And that's all there is to manipulating audio envelopes inside of Vegas Movie Studio and Vegas Pro software. See you soon with more fast tips.